Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be visiting a retro gaming convention. It's the second edition of Tilburg. It's one of the biggest at this moment. And I'm always curious if we can find some cool stuff. So stay tuned and let's go. In the Netherlands, we are quite fortunate to have a couple of cool retro gaming conventions. Today we are visiting the second edition of Tilburg Retro Game Convention and we are really fortunate to have a very huge event like this. There are over 300 tables of products that we can find, but we do call this the Retro Game Convention. That is actually not really the Retro Game Convention and the reason I'm saying it is there is so much more to find. This has been grown from just a basic convention to something unique where you can find all kinds of products. Think about Pokemon. If you just want to get something anime related, there is so much different products to buy and to find here. Where I do visit a couple of these conventions yearly, I must say that I'm not particularly searching for products. First of all, I have a golden rule. When you're searching for something, you will never find it, or most of the time at least. And that is the thing, I'm just browsing. I have a very cool collection and I'm very satisfied with the products I'm having. So mainly when I'm buying stuff now, it's just I want to showcase it on the channel. I really love to find these weird obscure products as you maybe know. If you didn't know, now you know. Because there are so many vendors, so many tables, there is basically all kinds of products to be found. Here in the Netherlands, I do notice the dedication is mainly Sega 16-bit and the Nintendo 8-bit and the Super NES. That is where the main, like say, people are searching for, or that is at least what I'm thinking. You have all kinds of cool stuff. With Sega Dreamcast and Sega Saturn, you can find those products here, but they are quite rare. The thing you also find a lot beside Nintendo is Xbox Classic. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. I also already mentioned in this video that it is called Retro Convention, but we can also find next generation stuff. Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. We can just all find it here. Walking around, I've noticed a lot of vendors having cheap games for sale. Think about 3 euro, 5 euro, 7 euro 50. And some of the vendors even have combination deals where you have a certain amount of money and you can just pick a couple of random games. Nevertheless, there is so much different stuff when it comes to here. There are maybe not like AAA games, but in the end, there are a couple of cool ones out there that can buy for a couple of euro. I also noticed these real play versions and I can tell you I was really intrigued by it. I can remember real play did a release of one of these devices on Xbox too, with this very strange configuration when you have cords, but it seems to be they are using motion now. So I was really, really interested in this. So I picked these up and nevertheless, when looking around, I even found some cool statues. But if you wonder, I think he was asking around 275 for this. And classic Tomb Raider promotional I say statue. Pretty damn cool, in my opinion. If you're searching for Pokemon cards, there are a lot of different vendors for that. I was just looking into the piles of PlayStation 2 games that can be found. Here having Alien Hominid, a very cool game. And then, of course, we're going to get more stuff. And I can tell you, everywhere you freaking look, there is something you can find of a PlayStation 2, 3 game. Let's see what this vendor has to offer more. 
here we're having the game key we have a vmu for 15 euro they also have this very nice looking game boy classic i don't know if the screen is going to be working perfectly but i can tell you this thing looks in mint condition it was 75 euro i already did a review about this resident evil wii motion kit so i'm just going to leave it i don't want to review any more of these things then when looking around there was so much more pokemon stuff it's absolutely nice if you want to have a plush or you're searching for a particular card you can buy them all separately i also noticed some graded pokemon cards back in the day we have boxed game systems and of course the old school mad cats classic racing wheel i did notice like, when you're looking at these game systems like with box they're a little bit more expensive this was a very nice price to be honest it even came complete in box also a very nice mint condition so if you search very good you can still find a lot of cool stuff like original classic game boys i didn't see a lot of modified versions there's even in places three complete in box aftermarket nintendo 64 controllers and i can say that this aftermarket controller say for a fake one it's not bad at all the touch of the buttons were quite nice gamecube and it goes on and on this fender is particularly like having a lot of cables some playstation 4 controllers and there is so much more i was quite surprised to see this sega mega drive fake version that i personally reviewed on the channel they were offering this for around 50 euro and i must say that i am not very pleased with those sega systems the quality itself then i'm having this very cool looking amiga cd32 Personally, never owned it. Maybe fun to check it out in the future. And then, of course, a lot of box and game system without any box. But I didn't pick up anything simply because I have every single system that I'm going to need for upcoming reviews and future product testing. One of the random stuff we can find are old school Power Unlimited magazines. I do wonder if there are still a lot of collectors out there who love to collect them. I know some countries have the nintendo power stuff so far now we didn't really have this big book games for the pc i did notice a lot of them the terminator future shock i don't know what he's asking for i must say i always almost picked up this one i can remember that i owned it back in the day and i could have never got it to work on my windows pc but it's pretty damn cool to see it again it's a very nice condition street fighter 2 on pc how freaking awesome is that and you know when we're going to browse we can find so many cool things let's see what it is unreal anthology oh yeah let's see what we're going to get over here some controller systems Ooh, this is nice this is a particular product that went up in price absolutely like this is the 16 gigabyte first edition and so far i understand these things are all going to get yellow light of death eventually so it will be cool to check it out in the future but mm. so I almost picked up this particular one. I really like these weird brick games, game systems. We have some cool Mario coins. I wanted to pick them up almost again to put in my coin pusher, but I was more like, uh, you know, I have enough stuff for myself and I don't think I'm going to use this a lot. So I just left it there. I didn't know even what he was asking for it. And Xbox 260, not collecting for that. I was really surprised with this PlayStation 2 version. Like it cost 250 euros. I know these things can get some value with boxes, but not that crazy. Or I just completely missed something out. And I was also very surprised by seeing this. This vendor has a lot of Atari stuff. There isn't a lot of Atari stuff we can find. I already mentioned before, a lot of Super NES or, or Nintendo in general or Sega stuff we can find, but Atari. But it is a video pack from Philips and some complete box Atari games. And I think it's pretty damn cool to see those because again you don't see them a lot on dutch conventions one of the products i owned very long time ago is this resident evil yeah and it was not worth back in the day 300 but somehow it went up in price and i don't own it anymore to be honest i tested it out back in the day and the chainsaw was cool but to be honest the gameplay nah it didn't give extra value so for me i'm still flabbergasted to see that this thing is so much worth then we're having the pokemon pikachu for 300 I don't know if it's going to be any even worth it because i know these pokemon things are getting expensive i know that atari jaguar i do own one of them i still want to review them here on the channel i got one complete the box they also went up in prices 
So the PlayStation 2 complete in box, that is pretty damn good. The satin silver, already own a silver version, so I'm just going to leave it. The keyboard, there's a lot of stuff I already own in my own collection that's not going to buy it. Some piece Vita also, and oh man, I love these. This there are the box I really love with the comes to this weird stuff. I don't know what it actually is. Controllers, they're kind of filthy, so they need a very good clean. So if you're searching for a project, there's a lot of stuff in here they can pick up. This is one of those great examples where you can pick up for two euro fifty or combine it with different kind of games. And if you just search for a couple of games to maybe add to your collection or just play, there's a lot of cool stuff you can buy. There was even a combination of all kinds of stuff, PlayStation 3, 4, 2, it's crazy. So much stuff that we can find. And this guy also has like some Power Ranger toys and that can also be randomly found. Some guides. You have different prizes for Xbox One. Oof, this is absolutely a very cool game. Five Euro, Kung Fu Chaos. It did not came with the manual, but nevertheless, let's take a close look at the disc. It's also fun to check it out with one hand. It has been some scratches, but I think it's still playable. I didn't pick it up because I already own a copy and this thing had a German cover, so I think that was the reason why it was a little bit cheaper without manual. Sonic and Knuckles, 30 euro, without the cardboard box. The Xbox 360 HD DVD player, I must say that's pure like hardware nostalgia. Samurai Showdown, a complete Nintendo Switch a sealed version. For the last vendor, I went to Dragonfly Amusement. He is over here having some cool old school MVS cartridges. And he has some very unique products with him today. Here, let's see what kind of game we're having. Super Sidekick 2. But he also has the Japanese Super Scope. Complete inbox, 85 euro. In the future, I will pick one up. I want to review and test for myself. Some stuff complete in carrying case. And some Super Famicons in very nice condition. Super Mario Paint. And yeah, that was kind of cool. Super Multitap, Sega Saturns, PC Engine Duo. The interface unit. So he has some very unique products with him today. 225 euros for the PC Engine Core Graphics Complete Unbox. And let's check out. Oh, that was kind of cool. There was a special controller for playing Pachinko games. And then the game itself. So combined, you can just play Digital Pachinko. It's kind of cool. I really love these novelties. Maybe we'll pick one of these up to check out here on the channel. And some loose Turbo Graphic games. And he has a lot of cool stuff over here. Did have a little bit of a regret not buying this. This was an Xbox 360 in a special case for better cooling. A very cool, unique item, one of many that you can find on the convention. Nevertheless, thank you all for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, and it would be great to see you in the next video.